Hey there, are you under the rule of capitalism and stuck in a dead-end job you just oh so hate? You are? Well, you best bet I have the best gosh darn deal of a lifetime for you. Have you considered being a trad wife? No? Well, let me tell you more. Do you want to be the primary caregiver for the offspring of an over-expecting man for like 18 years, only for the kids to then turn around and say that dad was the fun parent because once a week he would take them out for pizza to give you a bit of respite? Boom, trad wife. Oh, and I must simply mention that that man that you decided to procreate with that over expecting man will also slowly start to resent you and fall out of love with you because you no longer resemble a young girl after birthing his spawn of satan so guess what he's just gonna run off with the nanny boom boom trad wife oh and i nearly forgot that this once in a lifetime opportunity also leaves you with zero financial stability can i get a whoop whoop for zero financial stability this intro is killing my voice box you get to spend a whopping 18 years rearing this man's painfully mundane offspring and when it all goes to absolute poop you then get to explain why you have an 18 year job gap on your CV. Good luck with that one. Boom, 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 trad wife. <laughs> this was the most over the top. <laughs> I can't even get my words right. This was the most over the top intro ever, but I didn't know how else to intro this video, and I think it may have actually wrecked my voice doing so. So this is going to be a painful video essay for both of us. <laughs> right, yes, hello there. I am Cow Does Life, and on this channel, we do video essays, and then we talk about it all in the comment section and share our thoughts and opinions on the matter of that video. And if you're not new here, hello, I am back again but with more energy than last video you know when I had the cold and I kept coughing in the video and decided to keep that in the video which was a weird editing choice I'll admit but we move I'm better slightly not all the way there still got a nasally voice but that might just be me at this point but less coughing more sniffing though but sniffing because I got a cold not because of like any other well you can imagine reason so let's crack on with the video. I was happily perusing TikTok after a stressful day at work and uh, I came across what can only be described as absolutely nuts right wing social propaganda. It's got to be, you know, proper archaic nutsness following and jumping at a tradition that just isn't really real, in my opinion, which we'll get into in this video. It's just a concept with false promises that you're running towards that you'll never get if you go down this route. And that is trad wives. What does that mean? Does it mean tending to the livestock on the farm that you work at because you're an 1800s peasant and the local lord expects this from you whilst rearing children, whilst knitting and making your own clothes and then unfortunately dying at 30 because that's the average age expectancy then or does it mean you get this idyllic lifestyle where you look after these little cute munchkins that love you unconditionally and they're never annoying and just heathens they're blessings to your life and you get to do this while your huzzy husband works really hard down the mines and somehow that funds your whole lavish lifestyle well let's find out with TikTok, because we know TikTok is the best place for education when learning about things. And that's where I've learned about trad wives. So I'm taking you on this journey with me today about trad wives. And this was my first encounter with trad wives. And it really does just feel like some sort of weird right wing social propaganda. Look. How to become a traditional wife. Number one, embracing ultra traditional gender roles into your marriage. The man, he is the provider, the main breadwinner. He goes out of the house and works. The woman, the wife, she is the homemaker. She takes care of the home. She takes care of herself and she does the cooking and the cleaning. What the hell is this? Like, this must be brought to you by wrinkly old white man incorporated where they guarantee an inappropriate under the table thigh touch with every meeting because this feels so weird and manufactured in a laboratory some laborat laboratory somewhere i really don't know why i'm so energetic in this video it just stuff like this blows my mind that they're still trying to push this type of lifestyle onto us in the modern day world like it just seems so bait we want blonde haired 
blue-eyed white woman that vaguely resembles <laughs> Marilyn Monroe in old-timey clothing to go on TikTok and be like, this is what I do and this is the perfect lifestyle. And we're going to package it like this, this perfect, super awesome thing, <laughs> you know? It just feels weird and so, like, uncanny and just, like, it feels like an A24, A24, however you want to say it, weird film. And I'm expecting to see the scary twist in the plot. But it doesn't come, it's just more and more of this nonsense. Number three, learn to cook, learn to clean, and learn how to host. I probably got in the kitchen at like three years old with my mom. What? Learn to please other people. Never put yourself first. Just be a caregiver. That's all you are. Give the, all the best years of your life, your youth, when you have lots of energy to other people. Never think about yourself. Like, what the fudge, bro? What is this absolute nonsense? This sounds horrific. Don't get fooled by the world packagedness of all of this. This is just marketing. This is horrific and you can't convince me otherwise that this is not funded by like wrinkly old white man incorporated. Number four, you have to have something for yourself. As a traditional wife, you are spending a lot of your day catering to others whether it is your husband or your family, and it's important to have something that is meant just for you. <laughs> what is this nonsense? You should probably have a hobby, you know, after you give your whole entire life to other people, pleasing other people. If you somehow don't go nuts and get put in a mental asylum and then old weird shitty husband wheels out 2.0 model of his wife, you know, because you blew your brains out by just working for other people constantly. Uh, so, you know, have a hobby in your spare time if you get the chance, you know. Now let's see what hobbies she suggests. I, I actually sounded like the joke then and I like feel a bit ill but like what what is going on it just content like this brings out a side of me that like just like i hate it and it makes me so animated and it's important to have something that is meant just for you this could be sewing this could be painting <laughs> Could this get any more greasy old white man touch your thigh under the table incorporated? Like, this has to be scripted. This is wrote by a douchey old middle class old money man who's never thought about progression in his life. Well, this is what I like and it's what's shown in them classic Hollywood films and and it's what me and my boys like Elvis Presley used to live on. Elvis Presley married a child. Look into it. It's weird. And we're digressing and I must stay on track, but this does not feel real. Like, the type of dude that would be like my age, you know, like a modern day man that likes this content, would be like this. That right there is my queen. My name's Kyle, and I want a trad wife. I bring a lot to the table. I get, I work really hard as a Discord moderator. So with that, I expect my wife to, you know, look after me, turn, up the kitchen knobs, don't know what I'm saying, this is unscripted, clean the house, do everything for me while I'm working really hard. Shut, shut up Kyle. No, I need my hat because I'm not being Kyle anymore. Shut up Kyle, you're a gimp. Even if this was a trad wife world and you found a, you know, a partner who did want to be a trad wife just because they actually wanted to be fine. So be it, there's no issue with that. If that's generally what you want to be, you know, the primary caregiver to your children wise, you know, your partner goes out and works and that's the pre-agreed terms you have and you're okay with that, fine. There's no issue with that, of course. If, that, if that's your calling in life, go crazy. But even if that was the world, she would not want some stinky, sweaty gimp that over expects some sort of woman like that when they put in the bare minimum into their life, you know? Kyle, you live in your grand's house because she passed away and she nicely left it to you. You survive on checks from your parents every month. I'm getting, I've just got, a, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not even saying words properly anymore because I'm so animated about this. But you can just tell like the sort of like young men that are liking this content and engaging with it are like the absolute losers and just gimps of society. It's like a real trend in men culture currently where they expect the world from women when they bring nothing to the table. And she will sire my children. But don't worry about my low sperm count and that's not to do with the fact that I eat frozen chicken nuggets every night. Don't go outside to have no vitamin D in my system. My bones are wasting away. And I have arthritis in my hands at 24 from playing League of Legends. Carl, my friend, it's time to dust yourself off, get outside, get some vitamin D, and maybe work on 
social skills because you know deep down you're not bagging a trad wife anytime soon and i'm not sure if it's even a real thing in the 21st century you know or in that case has it ever been a thing like when you really think about it like when people talk about a trad wife do they just mean a stay-at-home mum that looks after the kids okay if that's what you want to do with your life i feel that's a pretty normal want like you know just to be a caregiver to your children and watch them grow up and you know be by their side you know i hear lots of my friends wanting to be like a parent you know a stay-at-home parent so they can just have more time with their children because eventually they grow up fly the nest if they're a fully functional human and you know go live their own life so i understand wanting to spend time with your children but this like trad wife that people speak of just isn't a real thing in reality it's hollywood you, you you can't get this and the problem is when you see stuff like this online where it's well marketed and like tiktokified it's just like you get weird creepy men being like yeah that's what i want when they bring absolutely nothing to the table and if that was the world they wouldn't want some like gimp that has no personal hygiene they would want like a real man which is also just as toxic it's just this giant toxic non-real thing of like chasing these archaic stereotypes and gender roles that just aren't a thing in real life if you go outside and talk to people these things just aren't real when people are like well think about gender roles shut up about your gender roles steve with your shitty shitty social view you're just butt hurt because you lost at sports day to every girl in your class and now you're like well we need gender roles no bro you're just a disappointment look i'm getting too worked up i'm getting too animated and we're just on the first video let's just see what the comments are saying about this video and traditional men let your housewife get out for some personal time at least once a week while you watch the children can we all not just see that's freaking nuts they get one day a week where they get to breathe, where their, where their whole schedule is not just dedicated to pleasing other people. If you're not pleasing the freaking horrible children you decided to have with this horrific man, you've then got to please him. And that sounds heinous, but it probably is heinous pleasing him. Oh, dear Lord. You know, what a sad life, Jane. What a sad life. I, my heart breaks for you. Yes, so important. It's just, it's just weird middle-aged men commenting this. Yeah, it's a great idea. Of course you think it's a great idea, you fucking loser. Thank God there's someone with sanity in this comments. Once a week, can I go for a walk, please? Honestly, yes, it sounds like well-packaged slavery. It's slavery, but you get a house. But it's not really a house because you have no financial stability at the end of it and when i want to divorce you and get the younger model good luck with that not my problem i'm just a creepy old white dude it's my quirk where's the fedora i need it back if i'm doing bits <laughs> so people know it's not like my my thoughts and opinions i found another comment remember y'all no one is forcing you if it ain't for you it ain't for you but this is helpful for the ones that do want this information. You mean Discord mods over expecting men and poor lost young souls that are vulnerable. You're selling them a dream that simply isn't real. Do you think it's gonna be this magical, harmonious world? But there's gonna be such a power imbalance in practicality. The woman surrenders all financial stability, you know, because the man is the main earner, okay? So the money she has access to would be his money because you know she's staying at home and looking after the children 24 7 while he's out and then he probably goes to the pub afterwards and if that relationship which statistically it will end horrifically and sadly what does she have after that the actual reality is they have to rebuild from freaking square zero again and that must suck when you're like middle-aged that's so tough and heartbreaking you know that people get sold this horrific lie and they get married at such a young age probably when their freaking brain isn't even fully developed yet and they have kids and they procreate and then 20 years down the line probably not even that long it all goes to shit and i think this is why now young people aren't getting married young they're not having children young these are all good things people are actually going out there and seeing the world and actually thinking about what they want instead of just doing the oh put my human batteries in grow up to 18 that's enough education for me i'm just gonna marry the local boy from my town because my mum knows his parents so he must be a good guy 15 years later he's drunk abusive and he sucks and now i'm left with nothing in this broken home womp womp see like like come on guys and like i kid you not after like five minutes of just scrolling trad wife tiktok i found a tiktok which is showing 
everything I'm saying. Imagine this, the trad wife life didn't work out. You have a 10 year gap in your resume, four kids that need to be taken care of while he is off living with another woman. So now you're at the food stamps office trying to see when your application will be approved. That is heartbreaking and that is so sad. It's people that get missold this dream that just isn't the reality anymore. The times have changed. It's not like it was like post-war, second world war, whatever, where people would just hunker down and, st and stay in relationships forever and ever. Why? Because there, 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 was, there was no get out. You just had to just stay with that person. And if you talk to your actual grandparents and you listen to them about stories about what the quality of life was like, it doesn't sound nice. It doesn't sound like a nice, sweet thing that like that Hollywood lady from Old Man Incorporated is pumping out out there. It's a very tough life full of lots of mental trauma. And there's just people giving the like, freaking hindsight dumb advice in the comment section people like this infuriate me if you get into a trad wife arrangement you need a prenup stating he'll be depositing x amount into your bank account that can't be touched by divorce wow gee thanks what a great idea you know but when you promise this life of this one man that's devoted you for life, you probably don't think about things like that, do you? Thanks for the great advice. No, really, you're so smart. Gee, wow. I'm literally convinced the average person that leaves advice on TikTok videos, I don't know why I'm turning into an anime kid. I'm convinced, but I'm literally convinced that these people, they've literally never developed their ability to critical think and they just think the most obvious things is the perfect answer. They never go like, layer two or three deep like on my last video was the perfect example of this it was a video about boy mums and how this what content creator's whole content was saying how she preferred her son over all her other children and i made a point in the video being like even if it is a joke it's weird that you would perpetuate these ideas because like what is the root of this like why would you even put that concept out there this is the exact same i think a prenup would have been a good idea yes of course of course but when you're all loved up and young and everyone's saying, oh, you guys gonna be together forever, you probably don't think about things like that, do you? And that's not that lady's fault. She just fell into this trap that everything's gonna be fine and dandy into this Hollywood concept that's just not real with like gender roles and ex social expectations. I have no clue why I'm so ramped up in this video. Probably other videos will not be like this. I am clearly on one about trad wives. I just think I find it like mind boggling that in this day and age, people are still trying to talk about gender roles as if this, 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 like, if they think this is some sort of like archaic thing where like man do manly things and woman do womanly things. But like, bro, come on, just be realistic. If we were doing it like that, you are probably not that masculine, really, are you? You're probably quite the disappointment. Your test is probably in the bin because you don't go outside and you sit online and you just seek instant gratification. So you jack off all day and you're like, yeah, I deserve this perfect wife that tends to all my needs. When you do jack shit with your life, maybe go outside and look for things that give you long-term gratification that don't just instantly give you serotonin because it's just giving you brain rot and it thinks you can like deserve this weird hollywood life that isn't real and i don't know if i'm even making an articulate point anymore i think i'm just actually just actually annoyed in a video because i just find stuff like this is so dumb that it even gets discussed on the internet and taken so seriously and yes once again i do stress if your goal in life or if the thing you are passionate about wanting to do is to be the stay-at-home parent while the other one, you know, goes off and works and does earning the financial side of things and you want to be the caregiver to the children, if that's genuinely what you want to do, awesome, that's lovely. I can really understand why you'd want to be there for all the most formative years of a person's life, especially a person you created, right? How lovely. It's just when you see content like this, which is clearly marketed to be this perfect middle class dream white picket fence lifestyle and people are gonna fall trapped to that because who wouldn't want a lovely easy happy cozy life like that it just sucks so that's not gonna be the reality for like 99 percent of people right it's just really not and of course i've seen like more like just gimpy men on the internet interviewing women in the street being like so would you like to be a stay-at-home mum?" and their answer is yes because they're in a dead-end job in an industry they hate. And that's a horrific existence. And that's the existence, sadly, most of us fall into. We have to work jobs we don't really love. So, of course, the idea of being this stay-at-home 
mother or stay at home parent and getting to like look after your kids and spending all day with your mini yous sounds lovely it sounds so pretty and sweet but it's just not reality for most people and most people that get sold that option will fall into the horrific reality of that other TikTok we saw of being left with nothing because the man you married is probably horrific and he's just gonna leave you for someone else which is a bleak way of looking at it i'm not saying that's how all relationships end clearly not but there's also you should be real about things and this like i'm a trad wife i should have a hobby like sewing stuff just like grinds my gears because this is not reality it's so far from reality if you base your expectations for reality off what you see on social media where people have to package stuff in a certain way so they get views so they get money uh you're gonna be so greatly disappointed in life this tiktok memes it so well controversial rules in my marriage Rule one, the house must be spotless every day. That means dusted, swept, and beds are made. I even follow the kids around as they play so I can clean up their messes as they go. Rule two, I am only allowed to go to the grocery store or the dry cleaner alone. What sort of hell is this? But of course, freaking average commenter on TikTok, man that doesn't go outside, will be thinking this. Hmm, mayhaps that is a good idea, my queen, my lady. Perhaps thou would do that with me. Nah. No, your brain rot freak. Go outside. <laughs> But he said, raised to be a trad wife, raised to work at 17, 34 now, I want to stay home. Can I tell you how many videos are out there of all these girls just being like, why did we do this? Why did we let feminism win? <laughs> Gender roles aren't real. The reason why you want to be a trad wife now is because you hate capitalism. Capitalism is the enemy here, not stupid fake hollywood gender roles we would all rather stay at home and chill and have a lovely time with our families than you know go out and work crappy crappy jobs and that's what this really comes down to freaking capitalism i've turned into like the fucking leftist joker you want to know how i got these morals my mother was a social justice warrior. What is it? I don't know if this video has had a plot, man. I don't know if I made cohesive points. It's just this stuff gets me so animated and so wound up. And I've also blown my voice out in this video. That will teach him right for standing up against gender roles. I, what, what am I doing? I don't know anymore. I've, I've lost the plot. And you're probably thinking, why have I still got this hat on? One moment. And you're probably thinking, cow, okay. Okay, okay, smart guy, cow. You know, cow does life. You don't go outside. Why is your name cow does life? I'll explain that one day, maybe in a Q&A. Anyways, okay, cow. How would you solve this world then? What What is your answer? How do you fix this? How do you fight this blight, flight? I don't know what the word is of trad wives as a concept. What do you want, cow? What do you want from society? Well, to be honest, my answer would be, I want you to get fucking crazy. I want literal chaos. I want people to question everything. Why is it that you're expected to work 50 years in a job you freaking hate, and then at the end of it, you get a freaking gift voucher to, I don't know, Amazon, and a crappy leaving do where people go, Whoo! that's like a party popper, in the local village hall. Why is that the expectation for all of us? It's horrific, and if it's not that, it's be the stay-at-home trad wife and look after the children who are just gonna freaking resent you after the end of it and blame all their problems on you, which you probably inadvertently passed down to them because your mother was an actual trad wife and she was miserable and now she drinks every night. <laughs> oh God, it's bleak. I think society is getting better. I think the reason why people are getting married later and having children later is because we're questioning things more like, why is this expected of us? It's so silly. Why is it expected to have like children by like, <laughs> 25 but like grandparents it was so normalized to have a family and multiple kids by like 25 and nowadays it's just like no i want to go out and see the world i want to travel and i want to do things and i want different careers you know i want to try different things we can pick and choose more because of globalization there's far more mobility we don't have to just marry the local person we went to school with because we held hands once at the village fair what a bleak, bleak existence. And I know some of you are thinking, yes, it's sweet when you marry the first person you ever kiss or something like that. 
This is not Disney. I am not Hollywood. I want reality, not some sort of fake lie narrative that I'm trying to build myself. I don't want to be in some dead end career and resent my family that I made, which I really shouldn't have, you know? Go out there and live. The real crux of this is capitalism. The people that say, you know, they wish they could have just, you know, stayed at home and be a stay at home wife. Like, we shouldn't have done feminism, yo. It's so bad. It's so bad. We've gone too far. We got, we should have never got the vote. We should have just stayed silent and worked in our homes. Actually speak to your old old ass relatives the wrinkly ones that are going to be in the graves in the next couple of years you know the stories they tell are harrowing and they're not always that pleasant but they think it's present because it's all they've known but compared to your life now you could never now suddenly go into that lifestyle where you're expected to you know cook and clean and i don't know look after all the local livestock that you for some reason have you've got chickens you've got goats you've got horses you've got to be up at like 4 a.m to look after them, I don't know why I paused and I think my brain just got like blue screen of death because I've just ranted for like far too long. A modernized human could not suddenly just go into that lifestyle. They would have a mental breakdown because how are you gonna watch EastEnders, go on your phone for two hours and like doom scroll on TikTok and then be up again at like four in the morning to like feed the chickens and let the cows out and I don't know, dance for the local lord and clean his tabard and then make your own clothes from scratch. Is that a trad wife? Is that what we're thinking a trad wife is? I don't even know. Like I've actually gone insane in this video. I've, I, I don't think I've ever been like this in a video before, but hopefully by my animatedness, you can see how dumb all of this really, really is. Gender roles, the fuck man, get out of here. Don't come at me with that shit. I don't like when people Hollywoodify lifestyles because that lifestyle is just not obtainable for 99% of people. And if you're young and impressionable or you're a vulnerable person, you can so easily get sucked into these things, whether it be a trad wife, whether it be getting that classic nine to five or giving your whole life to a profession just because it's respected in the eyes of your i don't know like elders like why man it's all just a load of crap just go do what makes you happy and of course i always want to stress if you're calling in life if you feel your genuine calling is to have children and be that stay-at-home parent well that's beautiful as well being a carer if you want to do that it's a beautiful socially amazing thing to nourish people's lives and give them that best start they possibly can to life awesome that's freaking great but don't sit on this yeah and 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 i was gonna start ranting again but then it's just getting circular and i'm not achieving anything with my video so remember though if you are feeling like you want to stay at home because you hate your job and you're now like i should have just been a stay-at-home mum gosh darn it feminism your fight is not with feminism gender roles the real enemy is capitalism making you work a shit job for your whole life that's the real enemy here now how do we combat that i don't have the answer for that one yet because you know if i did i'd probably be off in like a freaking tree house somewhere i'll go by the name tarzan and i'll swing from vines <laughs> <laughs> the fuck man and if you're a fedora wearing just gimp that expects this weird non-realistic version of a woman that you've been sold from like movies and just crap and like that lady from tiktok go outside and be a functional member of society you have brain rot put down the fedora pick up the book on social cues you've got this this has been your boy cow does life and i don't know if i really tackled effectively the topic of trad wives i've kind of just ranted chaotically <laughs> ranted and <laughs> lost my mind about the subject and i probably haven't articulated it well but please drop a comment about it in the comment section and maybe i can actually articulate correctly my thoughts and opinions and we can have some good conversation whether you agree with me or don't agree with me and the points i've probably convolutedly made throughout this hopefully you're good at inferring is all i can say <laughs> probably watch this video back and be like dear lord this has been your boy cattle's live there'll be another video essay like here to watch if you want to stick around on this channel and you know if you have enjoyed this please feel free to subscribe and i shall see you all in the next one okay bye